We've got three families testing three popular meal kits. Wash and dry all produce. Start the recipe when the water is boiling. OK. Chef's plate. What I love about using meal kits is I really actually do enjoy cooking. But I hate thinking about what I should cook. Good food. Let's see here. The onion already cut. That's perfect. <laughs> it's blessed. No onion tears. And Hello Fresh. Everything you need to whip up a meal dropped at your front door. Give me a hand. There we go. John Zovac and his daughter Nicole love cooking together. It breaks that routine. It gives you a wide variety of meals to choose from. You could try new things. Delivery's here. I'm in the kitchen cooking with one of these kits too. Today it's HelloFresh. You ready? Yes. Okay. I'm super excited to make food. I, I think it's always interesting. You just never know what we're going to get, right? My son Isaiah okay, and hubby Ryan good. are my two sous chefs. <laughs> How much do you like cooking? So much. Cutting up the chest? Cut, cut, Good job. Woohoo! We love cooking these meals too, but we hear you when you say the packaging is piling up. Let's find out where it's going and whether the recycling claims are really true. Shayna Tilbrook and Sean Liverpool use meal kits all the time. Their pet peeve, though, the plastic packaging. Oh, there's two, two buns. buns. Normally, that wouldn't be wrapped in plastic, because this is way more packaging than we would normally get for a little bit of cheese. And then ground beef as well. Like, we normally buy one bigger package of ground beef. Plenty of plastic when it comes to good food and HelloFresh, too. Best friends Nicole LeBlanc and Miles Cephas wonder where it all goes. But is all the stuff recyclable here? You would think so when you look at this good food box here, here, and here on this plastic bag, too. Chef's Plate and HelloFresh don't have those labels. I think. This is crinkly plastic. I think that gets thrown out. What do you think, Sean? Um, I think it gets recycled. Still lots of questions about what to recycle and what to toss. This is why we never agree on yeah. what gets thrown out and what uh, gets uh, recycled. This, OK, so I think I would also put that in the garbage, I think. But I'm not sure. I think I would recycle it because it's clear plastic. But I think this would go in the garbage, too. I'm very confused. Go figure. One paper bag holds almost everything you need for a meal. Inside, we count 15 items. 12 wrapped in plastic. The brown paper bag makes it a little deceiving. You think that you're, it's going to be more recyclable stuff once it's in it. And then when you pull it out, there's a lot of plastic. I mean, this is the kind of thing that will last in the environment for hundreds of years. Plastics program manager Karen Worsig is from the advocacy group Environmental Defense. Her passion, bringing an end to plastic pollution. You can put the stuff in your bin, depending on what city you live in, but very little of it would ever end up at a recycler. Why is that? It's hard. It's hard to sort it out. It's hard to make this back into something else. These are not materials that are made for recycling. They're really made to be used once and thrown away. Meal kits do cut down on food waste, which can have a significant impact on greenhouse gases. But Karen says the plastic pollution they're contributing to is starting to be a real problem. These companies need to reduce the amount of throwaway packaging. And whatever throwaway packaging they are using needs to be recyclable. And it needs to be clear on it. What am I doing with this when I'm finished with it? It needs to be much clearer than, it, than the confusing labels we've seen today. Well, those confusing labels keep on coming. Take a look at Good Foods' cold packs. So I really don't know what it is, but I know it's 99% biodegradable just by reading the pack. Which is good. But is it for real? Nicole and Miles rip one open. Let's see what 99% biodegradable looks like. And they do what they always do, throw it down the sink. HelloFresh sometimes uses a similar pack, but they don't make the same claims. Can you it even is. guess what's in it? I really don't know what's in it. Would you like to know? I would. We're going to find out. Terrific. 
Our three families collect all their packaging for a month. Now, we're meeting at this Durham Waste facility just outside Toronto for the big recycling reveal. Peter, so good to be with you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Asha. Peter Vega is the manager of waste management here. The box is fully recyclable in the blue box program. That's okay? good. Great. He breaks it down for us. Cardboard boxes and rigid plastics like this can all go in the blue bit. But after that, things take a turn. Then we get to the interesting stuff. These film plastics. These are all different film plastics you said. This one is crunchy. This one is soft. This one is multi-layered because it's plastic with printing on the outside, foil on the inside. In most programs in Ontario, this is not a blue box material. And we get a lot of those yeah, in these boxes. Yeah, not recyclable yeah. at all. In fact, we check. It's about the same in many regions right across Canada. How would a consumer know what is recyclable, what isn't? Yeah, and that's why you always have to check with your local recycling program. Go on the municipality's website and they have a full list of what's recyclable, what's not recyclable. I feel disappointed. I'd like to have more things recyclable. Like, they could make choices to choose plastics that are recyclable. Shana, should consumers demand more? Absolutely. I think that after this, I'm going to actually write a letter. And I hope that they listen to us. Yeah. Yeah. HelloFresh now owns Chef's Plate, and they say they're committed to reducing plastic packaging. As for good food, Nicole and Miles liked the packaging, and can you blame them for believing it's all recyclable? Remember all those claims? For example, those 99% biodegradable cool packs. It's water and a chemical called sodium polyacrylate. The same stuff you'll find in diapers. It's not biodegradable. Here's my question. What are we supposed to do with it then? Right now, you put it in the garbage. Like the whole thing in the garbage? Yeah. See, that's really misleading to people because when it says 99% biodegradable, so people think automatically it's safe to put down the drain. And as well as the packaging says, all recyclable. Yeah, it's so, not all recyclable. Kind of wow. makes me feel bad a little bit. They should say recyclable where facilities exist. Yeah. Like, we will not recycle this in Durham region. Are, are you guys shocked? I'm yeah. shocked. Blown. Good Food tells us they're working on eliminating their cool packs and say they'll be delivering food in electric refrigerated vehicles instead. I think it's one of the most frustrating things for people is we don't even know anymore what to put in our blue boxes. Karen says companies can throw these claims on their packaging because in Canada, there are no rules defining what is recyclable. Bottom line, there's just too much plastic in all these meal delivery kits. But we wanted to talk to Good Food especially because of the claims that they have right on their packaging. They don't want to talk to us on camera. So we're going to send this back with a little message. And we're not done yet. Three chicken dinners, three big brands. Which one tastes the best? This is your marketplace. Time for a taste test. Three chicken dinners from three different meal kits. All these companies sure make big promises. They can save you time. Just about everything you need to make home cooking Effortless. Money, and they've got a ton of delicious recipes. But which kit tastes the best? We've called in some food influencers to find out. Hubert Lung and Florence Tang. The cooking instructions laid out step by step. Should I flip it? Let's hear Hubert and Florence dish out their opinions on good food, HelloFresh, and Chef's Plates. Pretty good. I'd say the selection across all companies was really good. And the verdict on the best tasting meal kit is? I like good food the best because I think that the flavor was well-rounded. I like the chef's plate one the most. I thought that was really fun to cook. So a win for taste, but a big loss when it comes to plastic waste. <laughs>